Everyone loves the annual Moondance Jam for bringing out some of the best in rock and roll straight to the community of Walker. But the jam is about a whole lot more than just music. Our own Sherelle Moore is live tonight to tell us about the experience. Sherelle? Thank you, Josh. This is the 27th year for Moondance, and it doesn't matter if you're a first-timer or if you've been coming since 1991. You'll be a part of the Moondance family for life. Same friends, we have the best time. Four best days of summer. When coming to Moon Dance, there are a few things guaranteed. You'll hear some great rock music, meet happy people, and we'll leave with lifelong memories. You used to come here and sit on hay bales when it first started, and you had no parking spot any place you found. Yeah, it's come quite a ways. Well, besides the music, that's what originally brings people here. But once they're here at Moondance, they become friends. And they become part of the Moondance family. And then when they get here, they reconnect with all the friends that they've made for years and years. This year, there are more than 15 acts hitting the four different stages at the festival. So the party never stops. Officials with Moondance say they're expecting their biggest crowds yet. Thanks to headliners like Kid Rock, Brett Michaels, Joan Jett, and Tesla. The band span from 80s and 70s favorites to recent rockers. Saliva. Very interested in seeing Saliva and Kid Rock. Kid Rock. Kid Rock this weekend, yeah. Can't wait for him. Joan Jett, Lita Ford. It wouldn't be Moondance without the iconic campground. Some people bring in tents and campers a whole day before to get ready for the weekend. For a lot of jammers, staying the night is one of the highlights of their trip. Can't beat the people. Everybody here has been, is so friendly. I mean, it's just like everybody's neighborly and with this however many thousands of campers are parked here. You have to camp. Camping is very key to your experience at Moondance. Kid Rock will hit the stage tomorrow. Then Joan Jett and Tesla are ending the night on Saturday. Then when the weekend is over, officials will be back to work, making sure next year is just as magical. We would say to the people that haven't come, the big question is, like I tell others that haven't come, is why? Why would you not be here up in, in the north woods, around the lakes, great camping, great people, great music. Great time, good bands, good people. What more do you need? And you can find the full lineup on MoondanceJam.com. And if you want to join the festival this weekend, general admission wristbands like these ones are still available. Now, Sherelle, I understand that, you know, these jammers are hardcore. They're out there rain or shine. But do the performers still go on no matter what the weather conditions are out there? Well, I was told that in the past they have had to cancel a few acts, but if the group is willing, then the, band, the show will still go on. All right. Thank you very much, Sherelle. Camping passes are also still available, and you can purchase both general admission tickets and those camping passes right at the gate. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.